In this lesson, you will get an overview how to use behavior-driven development in ALM Octane. In order to create BDD specification, you need to navigate to the backlog module. In the backlog module, under BDD specification tab, you can create and manage BDD specifications. A BDD spec represents or is equivalent to a feature file, which uses the gag and syntax to describe the feature in details by providing examples. BDD specs are documented in natural language. These examples define all relevant scenarios from the point of the users, which helps the developer to implement this feature. For example, if we would like to create a calculator feature for our app, we would need the following scenarios for a basic calculation. Calculation of add, subtract, multiply, and divide. On the BDD specification, ALM Octane allows you to collaborate with different users. You have different types of owner. So you could have an owner who is owning the BDD specification. So most probably this is the product owner who has the knowledge and standpoint uh, of the end user who will uh, use this feature in future. You have the development owner who will take care about the implementation. And you have the QA owner who will automate those scenarios before, during, or after the implementation of the feature. Under the BDD scenarios, you will see all the different scenarios which has been added to the feature and they are listed as separate entity. This helps to better focus and implement quality for the specific BDD scenarios. There is no need to write separate manual tests as these BDD scenarios are representing test which can be executed manually. You can select those and run them using the manual runner of ALM Octane. On the different scenarios, you can find also the different owners who could be potentially responsible in automating those scenarios. In order to get started, you can decide to automate the BDD specification before, during, or after the implementation. After the implementation is uh, useful when you don't have enough resources and it is very time critical to deliver the implementation, then you can make use of the BDD scenarios which can be executed manually uh, beforehand in order to validate the quality of the implementation. During the implementation can be used if the developer is uh, keen to automate while he's implementing or before the implementation so you really come from the test centric and automate all the BDD specification and scenarios um, before writing any code. So let's automate those scenarios. You can download the BDD specification as a feature file into your development project and start automating the different scenarios. Once the scenarios are automated, you will see that all the BDD scenarios are failing. This is because that currently there is no code which exists to cover those scenarios. That's the reason why those scenarios are failing. You can see on the BDD specification that it is fully automated and aligned to the code. Once the developer now starts implementing the code, those scenarios will become passed step by step. So the add function is written. The according scenario is passed. The subtract function is written. The according scenario is passed. The multiply function is written. The according scenario is passed. The divide function is written. The according scenario is passed. 
And this is a very easy way to implement BDD in ALM Octane coming from the quality perspective, automating all the BDD scenarios beforehand in, before implementing the code. All scenarios will become red and step by step you implement the code and the scenarios become green. And it helps the developer to really focus on the things which need to be delivered feature by feature, scenario by scenario, and not overwrite or future proof any kind of code which is not needed.